16 year old 16 year old female mega presented with a complaints of pain and swelling over both ankle which was sensitive answer and progressive in nature but the, the pain was intermittent uh, relieved by medications and uh, it is relieved by activity early morning pain is more by activity she is getting relieved there is no history of fever no history of uh, 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 eye problems no history of any morning stiffness and uh, okay what's the diagnosis so i think that uh, inflammatory arthropathy of both uh, arthritis of both ankle most probably due to juvenile rheumatoid arthritis what is most likely you said early morning stiffness is not there you are right in saying inflammatory arthritis i won't say rheumatoid because you only <coughs> said only the ankle no other joint is no involved no early morning stiffness but pain is there pain in the morning which is improved by walking by or suggesting inflammatory arthritis you can just say that yes. inflammatory arthritis if it is only two joints you want to say posi articular or oligo articular fine i don't think you should go to a rheumatoid at that stage the examiner ask you okay what are the possibilities then probably you can okay. because you know that they are a is something posi articular or oligo articular not so much posi articular like other tumors yes. what is the difference between the uh, last two patient and this patient you can see the very typical yes yeah, the, the size of the foot it was more than all the last two patients here size of also ankle is also more yes. what is the difference between those two patient and here on that you said charcot joints here you don't say the charcot joints why <laughs> very very difficult difference you need to find out all enlarge doesn't mean solve charcot joints something is very typical when you are going to touch it it is when you are going to touch it it's flex flex <coughs> fluctuating so like fusion that is also sometimes common in charcot joints when you have a lot of soft tissue enlargement is there Restricted. So you can see it's in perfect joint arthritis. What do we do? I'll investigate further to find out the cause. What is the duration of this condition? Two years. Two years. She's not able to squat, and uh, she's having the uh, movements are painful. Uh, only up to neutral she can bring uh, her uh, ankle. The affection is not present. Uh, the anterior joint length tenderness is there at all patients. Do you have any other issues? Is she having any skin problem? No, <laughs> no, no skin changes. No skin changes. No other joint involvement. No morning uh, stiffness. No uh, symptoms. Are you are talking about no morning stiffness. Your your point is against an inflammatory arthritis. So you should be careful with your answer. Yes. Right. Yes. Is there any any condition near yeah, inflammatory arthropathy where ankle is specifically involved? Then all other joints, but ankle is very specifically involved. You know, reactive arthritis. Yeah. Reactive arthritis, ankle can be very specific. Doesn't look like, but that's why I asked the question. <laughs> Uh, the patient has not brought the recent X-ray. So the problem is she brought the old one, which was taken four months back. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, the, and there is also a palpable cryptosis and that way, yes, sir. And she gives this in the childhood. She had a fall. She had a fall. But my letter. No, sir. Only she had a fall and injury to that area. Probably there is some muscle control fragment of the talus. Right, yeah, there's also muscle control fragment. fragment of the talus. It's on the right side. So, so right side, right yes, side, everything bent. Bent. This is awesome. Sir, palpable cryptosis. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir
swelling over her left ankle for the last two, two months uh, without any history of trauma which was progressive in nature and uh, the pain is uh, aggravated for the last 10 days so she came for a further evaluation. In the past history we came to know that uh, she is a known case of uh, systemic lupus erythematosus for which she was taken proper treatment for the last 15 years and uh, uh, she had a normal uh, two babies with this LSES was done with the intra, uh, proper perinatal and intra, intra uh, prophylaxis against the SES. In the in yeah. three initial stages, she had just, uh, system of features of mala rash and uh, the butterfly rash, everything. <laughs> now also she is having that uh, skin changes and uh, the main thing is now she complains of being over the left uh, ankle for the two months as well as for the last one month she also developed pain over uh, left wrist with the pain in the uh, movements, pain on movements, restricted movements. So and also she is uh, having pain in his right knee for the last six years which was uh, dull aching but it is also gradually progressing in nature. So now main, her main concern is the pain for her left ankle. <coughs> So yeah, what is the examination findings? Sir, so there is a prominent, bony prominence on the lateral, lateral side of the left ankle in front of lateral malleolus and the skin looks shiny, redness is there and palpation, local warmth is there, tenderness is there, anterior joint line tenderness is there as well as there is tenderness on the in, attempted movements of the inversion and eversion. You said some swelling is there from yes, the, just above the ankle oh. joint. Yes. Is it from the tibia or is it from the yes, talus? I palpated. It looks like it's from the tibia. Tibia. Yes, How sir. do you differentiate between the, whether it is from tibia or whether it is from talus? So when I palpated uh, from the medial upper, upper from above downwards from the tibia, 
the swelling looks to be continuous with the lower end of the tibia. But you, when you palpate it from the talus swelling also, it will be continuous sometimes. How, how? I, I palpate it from the superior dome of the talus, yeah. but I can feel the giant line. Okay. Where but I can when there is a size is so big, then how do you differentiate? So in that case, uh, that it's case, very difficult. It's difficult. Yes. How it is difficult? When, when you move the ankle joint, what moves? Talus or tibia? Talus. Talus. So, so, now, any idea? Yes, sir. Then it will be in the tibia. Yes. If, if the swelling doesn't move, yes, then sir. you move about the ankle joint. Then it is from the tibia. Then it is from the tibia. Yes. If it is moves, it's then it is very common in case of the Trevor's disease or some intra-articular problem like also in osteochondritis, dressing and that. Yes. So it's a clinical examination you can differentiate. Actually, something is there above from that. Yes. Uh, Yes. 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 It's a fluctuation, it tends to like a ganglion feels hard sometimes. Yes. Because of the tension. Yes. What you have very tender is an acute one. Probably that's something like a tenosovitis ganglion or something like that. Plus, there is a bony swelling also. Yeah. Yeah. Both are there. Both are there. Both are there. Both are there. So when you see about the swelling, there's a soft tissue swelling. Yes. When you see about that, both are there. This left wrist also she developed this one, sir. She pained from the flexion and vertebrae. Yes, sir, I told you. SLE. 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 I didn't, know, I didn't know that part of it. I didn't know. So, it's a rheumatoid right lesion. What I asked her was, does she have a pain of the Please remember. I didn't know she's a silly, but if you have a rheumatoid like lesion, one of the DD common in India is a systemic lupus erythematosus. One of the common things I asked, number one, is pain of the Number two will be malaflesh. You know, as you know, probably in an area like this, you can't examine that. <laughs> Pain abdomen is a very important feature because espinomegaly, epitospinomegaly can be assumed with SLE. That is why I asked her pain abdomen immediately before she could answer what the Hidesh already told she says SLE. That explains everything. Yes. So what did you do? Uh, she is uh, developing polyarthralia due to systemic lupus erythematosus. Uh, can, can you read the X-ray? Can you focus the X-ray? Yes, uh, this is the X-ray of right ankle, sorry, left ankle AP lateral of a mature skeleton showing ankle joint. <coughs> there is a, a narrowing of the ankle joint with the talus, dome of the talus. Is, uh, margin is eroded and uh, uh, what is very, very glossy, it's very glossy, you see the bone, yes, tibia, calcaneum, other part. The talus is sclerosed. The talus is sclerosed, but the other part is all osteopenic. Osteopenic, yes. All are the other osteopenic. You can see the gross narrowing of the joint space. Yes. The space is been reduced and you can see about the radiolucency with a lot of sclerosis. sclerosis. Yes. So what could be diagnosis? Such a... Inf inflammatory. Yes, Second Secondary osteoarthritis. Sclerosis, osteoarthritis. Secondary osteoarthritis. Due to? Due to uh, lupus arthritis. Maybe because of disease or maybe because of treatment. Yes, yes, Did I hear you say lupus? <laughs> Did I hear you say lupus? What is lupus? <laughs> what is the word? Anybody? Why is SLD called SLD? Systemic lupus erythematosus. That is uh, involved in almost all the system. Yeah. Cardiac system. Yeah. 
Yes. Yeah. 